Hello everyone, I hope you had a good holiday, regardless of which one you celebrated somewhere around the winter solstice, or if you didn't celebrate one at all. Uh, has your December been good? I don't know. Um, this is the usual annual vlog that I don't like to do because I feel like I'm just showing off, but everyone wants me to do it, so I'm going to do it. So, uh, yeah. Most of you know the score by now. For those who might just be popping in and j may not be up on this. So, uh, I do have a lot of responsibilities to my family. That's one of the major reasons why I do not produce videos at the level I used to. But, uh, my payoff for such responsibilities is Christmas, where my family takes, uh, takes a lot of, uh, a lot of time and focus to just annihilate my Amazon wish list as well as they can. And this year, as usual, they did so. I'm going to try and just pop through a bunch of these, uh, trying not to make this too wordy or long-winded. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. Uh, if there's a particular story to anything, I will stop and I will actually talk about it. But for the most part, uh, I'm going to keep it kind of, kind of briskly paced this year. Uh, before we begin, I will have to shout out a few in particular. So, uh, Saber in Blue from my Discord, and I believe the same Twitter handle, uh, got or sent me his. Uh, I, I can never remember what the fake name is, and I can never remember what company made it. But yeah, it is the Legend Scale Snapdragon that is fully operational, has both his modes, Headmaster works. This thing is fantastic. Like I've had a lot of fun just goofing with him and posing him on my desk. And if you know me, you know, like Snapdragon, favorite headmaster. So that, that was awesome. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I'm also, this was a huge, huge one. I got to be really kind of careful with this one. So this is huge and looks familiar. So we got into a discussion on my Discord about characters and franchises that didn't have toys and one of them that I always bring up in such discussions is Short Circuit because Johnny Five, robot here, had a movie that was all of where the B-plot was Johnny Five gets a toy and they never made toys. Uh, so uh, Toa Koi from my uh, Discord and Twitter uh, set it upon himself to find a 3D model of one print 3d printed it for me and sent me all the parts so i spent a good week and a half uh putting thing putting it together sanding everything down to fit epoxying it all together painting it up as accurately as i can the toy this was based on was not an official one so the molding is not exact so i came i came as close as i could uh there's some custom work to make him a little bit more accurate to johnny but yeah like that like, just going through the time and effort and however much the material costs to actually 3D print the parts was amazing of him. And I am incredibly grateful. So that, that's a bot that I have been waiting for my entire life. And now I've got one. Some assembly required, but he's completely epoxy now, so no disassembling. Oh, and my lovely girlfriend got me the vintage Orco, who I never had as a kid. You know, and I, gi I give Orko some trouble, uh, if you remember the TJTV review for He-Man she Ra Christmas. It's timely, now that I think about it. But I like Orko well enough. I never had the toy as a kid. I had a bunch of He-Man, but never had the original. It's got the ripcord and everything, too. So that was really cool. So, uh, okay, where do I begin? Hang on. I'm going to jump cut a few times here just to keep things quick. So one of the things my family likes to focus on for the list is equipment. And there wasn't a whole lot of things I need. My equipment's pretty well up to date these days. Except for the lighting, as you can see. Uh, however, there are some things that I want to do for future use. Uh, for instance, uh, let's see, we got this model cutting board, which is quite lovely. As well as this, which is a portable light box for taking like really nice like clean photos that'll come in handy for making thumbnails and it's got the ring lights on it that are so useful so that's going to come in handy along with this and this which is a brand new webcam now this webcam in particular is uh, uh you know nice enough but it will go in conjunction with the webcam i already have because what i want to do 
is I want to start uh, I want to start getting back to live streaming, and uh, if you see on my Patreon, I do have a thing now where, uh, depending on how many people are subscribed to it, regardless of how much they pledge, it's just a body count, uh, that will determine how many live streams I'm required to do every month. And I decided instead of just doing, like, toy reviews, let's actually do, like, uh, or, or like, instead of doing, like, video games, and just, like, live streaming games and whatnot, um, I've got a ton of model kits just stored up. Like, there's a stack of them behind me. You can just see, like, in here. So well, let's build some model kits together. Let's just chat and hang out, play some chill music, and just, like, build a few toys. You know, and I, you know, I can do that here, because we got a bunch, you know, for... Here's some explosion effects. That's a very quick and easy thing. That'll be great to take photos with, with that, along with, you know some electric yellow effects you know i've been uh, i've been really interested in getting my uh photo game on so i need i need a still shot camera that's a little bit better than just you know my phone and you know aside from just those model kits we have the abundance of ones that are still coming in like for instance this the kotobu kia mega man x model which is the premium charge shot version which has this like super metallic uh kind of prismatic effect to the parts which looks incredible can't wait to get this thing built and then also on the model kit front we have this 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 is insane to get at all so this one does have a story so as a kid me and, that, my, me and my dad went to Toys R Us a lot because we were after the Power Ranger toys that they had because back then it was so hard to come across Power Ranger toys. It was so popular, way more than Bandai expected. So it, things kept popping in and out of stock, in and out, and you could, it, it changed from week to week. So every time they actually had Titanus in stock, it was on a week that my dad couldn't afford to get it for me. But on the weeks that he could afford to get it for me, it wasn't in stock. It never lined up. When it came out again during the ninja season, it still didn't line up. I didn't even get it I didn't even get a chance during in space. So this this was on my list kind of as a lark. Or just you know, a just in case, let's keep an eye on it, just in case it, it goes on sale kind of listing. And my dad saw that and decided, like, it's been long enough. So he made it a mission to make sure I got this one this year. So that's incredibly cool. Also on the agenda of things to build, we have the Lego Ideas. Uh, how do they call it? This is Once Upon a Brick. This is a working pop-up book built from Lego. I think this is an absolutely genius idea. Uh, it's usually traditional that I get some kind of big Lego set this year, but the one that I had on my wish list, which was the diner, the big modular set, kept coming in and out of stock. And when my family went after it, it wasn't in stock. So unfortunately, didn't get my big modular this year, so that tradition lapsed one year. But you know what? That's still really cool. I still, I was torn on getting that so many times. I've been in a Lego store, but that, that's gonna be fun because I think it's a genius idea. And just to finish off this segment of build your own stuff, I will, I will uh, show off some liquid plastic, you know, uh, some uh, resin, polymer, etc., etc. Uh, yeah. I like playing with uh, I like I like playing with uh, silicone molds, so that's nice to have. Also, quick Citadel paint set, all the essential colors, and a whole bunch of new detail brushes, which I was running very low on. So that's a really nice thing to have. Actually, that Johnny Five used up a lot of my paint, so that was really cool to have. The family knows that I am heavily into D&D now, so, you know, I'm actually in a game, which I'm super excited. I want to start doing videos talking about my character's adventures, because he's starting to build up stories, and some actually pretty intense ones. So I kind of want to 
I kind of want to do videos for it, that. But they made sure that I had plenty of new reading material. So for your D&D geeks, uh, Volo's Guide to Monsters, Xanathar's Guide to Everything, Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes, and Ebrion. Eberron, Rise from the Last War, because this contains rules for playing as essentially a robot. So, of course I'm going to have that. I don't know what, I don't know when I'm going to use a Warforged in a game, but you know what? If I ha you know, if there's, there's worse backup characters to have. Also, dice. Lots and lots of dice. And I, wasn't even, I didn't even grab them all. So I listed a whole bunch of dice on my wish list just to keep track of them because I wanted to get a, a set of dice for everyone in my D&D group for Christmas. And I picked like the weirdest dice I could find. Dice that had beads in the core. Dice that had uh, metal flake, not glitter, metal flake. Like stars built in, things like that. Really weird stuff. And... I didn't mean for anyone in my family to get me that stuff. I mostly had it on my wish list so I could keep track of it. And they went nuts just getting me that. So I think there's a couple in here that are the same ones I got my group. But uh, fortunately, I am kind of a dice hoarder. So always good to have more. So, common Rider. Let's go into that. So, I am into Zeo. I have not been talking much common Rider lately. But I do like my Zeo, so some accessories for the belt in the form of a couple holders and the Rushing Cheetah Pro Grise Key, along with a stack of more. We got Freezing Bear, Flaming Tiger, Lightning Hornet, I believe Punching Kong. Yep. So five more Pro Grise Keys, all set. Apparently I've got the uh, Force Riser on the way too. Unfortunately that didn't make it in time. So yeah, it turns out Sometimes when it says Amazon Prime, it means Amazon Prime will ship it when it gets to our warehouse next month. But some of it did show up, and oh my god, am I happy about this. Neo DN Driver. I don't know why. This is getting weird. So I put those Kamen Rider toys on my wish list this year because they were actually normal price. I bought my... DX01 uh, driver off of Amazon for I think $7 more than it would have cost to buy from Japan and that didn't include shipping it from Japan so that was actually cool that was actually very weird to be able to buy something like that straight away so uh, I'm, I'm happy Common Rider is getting easier to get and this Premium Bandai item for, like, the normal price on Amazon? Of course I'm going to put it on my list, and someone was cool enough to get it. I love that they made a DN driver that actually works. I'm so looking forward to that. That might be the first thing I bust open when all of this is said and done. So next up, let's talk a few games. Uh, gaming Front is very thin this year. Uh, I'm probably going to go back and get a whole bunch on my list that did not show up under the tree. But the ones that did... We have Luigi's Mansion 3, which I've heard nothing but amazing things about. This is apparently a super solid game. Dragon Quest 11, because I've I've played Dragon Quest games here and there, but I've never really finished one, so I don't know. I felt like this one with the retro elements to it would get me uh, would get me intri intrigued. And speaking of retro, Collection of Mana. So. I love Secret of Mana, one of my favorite games of all time. Never played the Game Boy game, so that's on here. And uh, Trials of Mana, or uh, <clears throat> Seiken and Densetsu 3. Uh, always wanted to play, didn't really want to play the fan translation. So, official Square translation now. Super looking forward to that. So I think I need to talk action figures, because there is a big stack of action figures, and I'm going to start with the random action figures that don't have any real theme. So, King Louie from Tailspin, adding to my Disney Afternoon collection. We have Lightning Collection, Anubis Kruger, the SPD Shadow Ranger, though, you know, it's, it's Deca Master. It's going to be Deca Master to me every single time. It just is. And then... 
I am a wrestling fan, and that is the best thing in wrestling today. That is the man, Becky Lynch. Took them long enough to make an actual figure of her. It's not in the actual persona that got her over. Okay, moving on from that. Go back to the video game. We'll go to video game figures. And that starts with the Figma Inkling Girl. This kind of uh, keeps me from buying the two-pack, unless I want to have two of this. But you know what? Better design. Just saying. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I, I haven't gotten a Figma in a long time, and I love my Splatoon. Like, and uh, I can remember when the U.S. toy of this, was, the World of Nintendo one, was so hard to get because everyone wanted a articulated Splatoon figure, and it wasn't that great. I finally got a hold of it, paid way too much for it, and it wasn't great. It was just an inkling girl that moved around, so having one that's actually going to be uh, decently articulated and actually a lot more stable, it's going to be good. Uh, moving on from that, what other video games do I play? I play Borderlands. I play a lot of Borderlands. So your basic psycho enemy, which is always cool to have. And then, not so tiny Tina, who is still insane and she is still fantastic. I really wish she had more to do in Borderlands 3. I would have loved a lot more of her content, but I guess DLC, you know, because that's what they always do. SH Figure Arts time. Vega. Or Balrog, if you're in Japan and actually know how to name things. This was my favorite design in Street Fighter 2. I absolutely loved the look of Vega with the mask and the claw and the snake tattoo. This guy is awesome. Uh, this is one of those toy lines where I really wish they weren't so expensive because I would love to have like all my favorite Street Fighter characters lined up in figure art form. I want to get the Blanca at some point. And then I have to go and look at who else is out. I know Saget and M. Bison are being done. And I real wait, Saga might be the Storm Collectible. Hang on. I'm trying to remember now. I know Bison's coming out, and I really want the Bison. Or Vega, if you're in Japan and know how to name things. But that's going to be cool. Looking forward to getting into that one. Uh, well, if I go with Street Fighter, I guess Mortal Kombat, speaking of Storm Collectibles, is just the next phase to go through. This is Mortal Kombat 3 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Scorpion, if we're going to be exact about it. I always like this design. I like the, uh, just, it's a very subtle and, like, minor change to his classic look, but I always really liked it, and I figure if I'm going to try out Storm Collectible, it might as well be Scorpion, because even if I don't like it, it's still Scorpion. It's still going to be good to have. And then, of course, because, uh, yeah, I like my Fortnite, so, yep, there's the aimbot, who I love because it's a robot with pants. What's not to love? And then Carbide, because I think this was the cheapest one on Amazon. And yeah, like, this one is actually kind of special to me because Carbide was the first uh, special skin that was available to me because I started very late in Season 3, didn't get the Battle Pass, and then Season 4, I finally started getting Battle Passes and playing it properly. And that, so that was the first, like, special skin I got. So that's a little bit of a special place for me in my heart of hearts. Transitioning. We transition from video game action figures to video game action figures that also transform. We're into Digivolving Spirits. This is Diablomon or Diaboromon, uh, whichever you want. I really wish this line was cheaper. Like... The line is super impressive. Every one I've tried out so far has been incredibly impressive. I just wish it wasn't so expensive to collect because I would buy all of these. I miss the Gatomon, which I really regret. It's really, it's stupidly expensive now. And I miss the Tentomon that was super cheap during Black Friday. That I should have picked up. But Diaboromon looks awesome. I have no idea how this little gremlin child turns into this massive thing. There's some super cool engineering in these things. But that's not the best of the ones I got. I have Patamon. If you, if you know me, you know that Patamon is very special to me. You know is my favorite Digimon. 
I have no idea how this one transforms either. It looks super impressive. And this completes this weird trinity because somewhere in storage, I have the original transforming, uh, or I guess digivolving got, uh, Patamon they did, which was just Patamon into Angemon. And I also had an, an I, had, I had a Magna Angemon that became Seraphimon, I think. I think that's how it went. So this kind of completes like, okay, so now I have, uh, I have my choice of what I want them to evolve into and I have my choice of which uh, Patamon forms to keep around. I think I can have, no, no, not all of them. Not all of them, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an Angemon short of that. Never mind. scratch that thought. And finally, we come down to the Transformers because, you know, that's about uh, how we always end it, I think, because it usually ends up being the big, one of the biggest things I get every year is in the Transformer realm. Uh, I'm actually going to start with a Masterpiece. That's Masterpiece Ratchet, which I have gotten for Christmas once before, and upon transforming it, the arm broke off immediately. I don't know if that was a knockoff. I don't know if it was just really bad luck for me. I'm looking for the signs of this being a knockoff, but everything seems to be correct. There's no typos. The print quality seems good. Uh, it looks like it's going to be okay, so I guess I'm just going to be really careful with this one and just make sure nothing goes wrong on that. All right, so on to the Transformer stack. This was weird because I had to kind of cross my fingers and hope things came out on time to make it here for Christmas because I'm pretty much caught up as far as Transformers go, but Crosshairs I did not have. I'm still kind of miffed because Crosshairs isn't supposed to be this van tank thing that he is. He's supposed to be, is kind of like a futuristic dune buggy kind of looking car. So I'm a little irked about that, but hey is another character that has gone a long time without an upgrade. And it's a, it's a super cool mold, so I'm actually happy with that. Moving on, Studio Series Dropkick, who I've heard good things about. is at least better than the previous one, which I actually like the previous one. Like, the transformation for that helicopter is so cool. So impressive to get such a thin helicopter to turn into a three-dimensional robot. He just happens to look very boring in both modes, that's all. And very not dropkick, but that that looks like dropkick. So that's going to be really cool. Waiting for that shatter, that new jet shatter looks super good. Moving on, Ironhide, who was so hard to find for the longest time. And even when he came back on Amazon uh, in time for Christmas, he kept popping in and out of stock, so I didn't know if I would get him. Apparently he's good. Apparently he's better than the Masterpiece, because the Masterpiece got a lot of things wrong. Uh, which is, which, I don't know, movie Masterpiece is kind of shoddy sometimes. So that's going to be interesting, because I actually liked Ironhide's past toys. Also from the Studio Series, we have Mixmaster. Brand new. He did make it in time. I believe I have Scavenger on the way. Someone did get me Scavenger off my list. Uh, did not... Uh, did not want to pay 50 bucks for the upgraded version of a toy I called one of the worst of all time. So everyone was asking me if I was going to end up with that figure. The answer is yes, I'm just not going to pay for it. But Mixmaster, I wanted to get my... Mixmaster I was really curious about because the first one was frankly awful. It should have been a plastic addict toy if I wasn't so eager to get rid of it. Uh, apparently this one is streamlined which is amazing considering there's also a gigantic head in there. So I'm really curious about how it turned out and if it actually does redeem the design as a good action figure. So here's something that's going to be weird. Uh, we'll start by showing you Leader Class Astro Train, which is another one that I just kind of put on my list and went, please stock before Christmas, and it did. I'm kind of torn because I have Legends Astro Train, from the uh, Japanese version of the Titan's return figure, and it looks super good. Uh, the the tank the the train mode is super iffy, but on the shelf it looks like a fantastic Astro Train. This looks like a fantastic Astro Train. It's got its own little flaws as well. So which one gets to stay in the shelves is up for debate at the moment. But 
he does look good. I guess it's, it's probably going to come down to how much fun I have with him versus the other one. How nice the transformation is and all that. But he does look really good. He strikes my Astro Train fancy quite well. And it's strange because along with that, I also got Dragonstorm, the leader class Age of Extinction figure, because he's, for some reason, he was dirt cheap on Amazon, probably because nobody wanted him. But I'm curious enough, and you know what? You give me a robotic dragon and I'm interested. It's just that simple sometimes. So, yeah, I, I put it on there mostly as a goof, and someone picked it up. I mean, it, it looks super cool. I do like the big dragon, but it is weird. So remember, that's movie number four. Oh, no, wait, this is The Last Night. Sorry, not Age of Extinction. The Last Night. I haven't slept much. <laughs> I have had a hard time getting to sleep this week, and excitement for Christmas did not help. But like, okay, so that's movie five. So that was only a few years ago, and now, like, that's the same price. That's a $50 toy. That's a $50 toy. Uh, it's a little bit of a size difference. He does have this little coal car to transform, so he's got a little bit more bulk to him, but we lost a little bit of something, I feel. You know, it's, it's just weird to see those side by side, because, man, it's, it's just unfortunate when you see Transformers getting that small, you just kind of wonder where all the size went. I found it. I found the size. So, of course, this is the big one. This is the big thing that was under the tree. You know, I wasn't thrilled when Omega Supreme uh, got the nod instead of Scorponok. I'm super looking forward to Titans Class Scorponok. But... The more I saw of this one, the more I saw of what it could do and the improvements over the G1 design and just hearing the reports of how nice it was, I kind of started getting excited for it. So this, I'm really eager to dig into this now. So that, uh, that's, I don't even know where it's going to go. I don't have room for Titan class figures anymore. I've already filled up all of my shelves. This is going to be uh, daunting. But you know what's, you know what, it, family wanted me to have it, so like, this is, uh, I will find a way, I will find out where it goes. So, that's pretty much the Christmas haul, as usual, my family is insane, and uh, I hope did not max out too many credit cards on this. I appreciate it greatly, I thank them greatly. And I thank you guys greatly, too, because, frankly, uh, the year I've had on this channel, I'm surprised anyone still watches, but the ones who stick through, I I do this for you, and I will do this again for you, and I will hopefully be back in 2020 on full cylinders, because now I have set up a system where everyone can hold me accountable if I do not get pr things produced. But clearly, I'm not low on material. So, you know what, put what, you know, whatever you saw in here, uh, if you want to see it reviewed, let me know in the comments, or tell me what you got for Christmas, what was your favorite thing that was under the tree, and or thrown at you from a family member, I don't know, depends on how your family works, uh, until, until then, uh, thank you guys for watching, thanks for sticking through on what has been a really difficult year for me, and, uh, Hopefully 2020 is a little bit more on the up and up and we can kind of get back to the no normal natural groove around here because I am so, I really do want to get back to that. I want to get back to making things for you. Uh, in the meantime, follow me on my socials because I am always active on my socials. My Discord link is in the description if you want to do that. And if you feel like pitching in and holding me accountable for next year and forcing me to actually have a more... Uh, ramped up production schedule that is on my patreon link in the description etc etc there's all my plugs i want to start getting into this uh so thank you guys for watching another tj shows off how much money his family can spend i hope you guys had a good holiday regardless of what holiday it was i know this is a lot for one person i know not normally a lot of people 
I know a lot don't get nearly as much, but I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope whatever you got was exactly what you wanted. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. Well, I will see you soon.